Congratulations on being a very good singer. Thank you. You remember me when the last one moves upon the fields of barley. Okay, it's enough. Hi guys, Julian here. Welcome to the seventh episode of the weekly guitar meeting at the great place of guitarness, Zika's Guitars. I am very happy to be back with you guys and let's start. Do you know what you don't want to miss? This concert premiere. Milena Solkova from Czech Republic has recorded an absolutely beautiful concert in our Zika's Guitars studio. Studio? And just make sure to set your notifications bell to not to miss this concert. Thank you for all your comments. Today we won't have that much time to read a lot of comments because I want to speak about the different definitions to describe a sound. The Nice Guitar says, These videos honestly keep getting better and better. Congratulations on being a very good singer. Thank you. You remember me when the last one Of Berlin. Okay, it's enough. Konstantin Dridaya says, instead of harsh, the sound of flamenco guitar could be characterized as much more percussion oriented than a classical Spanish guitar, which should be no surprise because flamenco is also a dance and all other typical flamenco instruments are full of percussion instruments. You're spot on. I totally agree. Robert Merksa writes, Maybe a Tukoviak next time? He means the Tukoviak guitar. And yes, the last guitar of this week will be a Tukoviak guitar. And as I said, if you have a favorite guitar, just write it down in the comments and I will make a review of it. Sean Samimi says, You are doing great. Keeping it real by sharing the bloopers gives it a more intimate approach to communicate. Which bloopers do you mean? There are no bloopers. We start with sustain. This is... We start with sustain. This is very easy. Length. Length. Timothy says, You are a very funny man. Actually, I try to be very serious while recording these videos, but somehow it doesn't work. Great video, and if you are uninspired today, then do more of the same. We like this down to earth demo very much. So, cheers from Canada. Greetings to Canada. Thank you a lot for your comment. And let's jump straight into the sound definitions. We start with sustain. It's very easy to explain and also very easy to understand. Sustain is the length or the duration of a tone. It means the starting point of a tone to the ending point of a tone. Just to give you an example, a long sustain would sound like ba. And a short sustain would sound like ba. The response of an instrument tells you how fast and how well the sound of an instrument reacts to your playing. Just to make it more clear for you, an instrument with a very fast response would sound like ba ba ba. And an instrument with a very slow response would sound like ba ba ba. Of course, a guitar doesn't have such a slow response, but I have to exaggerate it a little bit to show you what I mean. The balance is the relation of different tones to each other, in loudness and in overtones. For example, if you play a scale on a guitar and it sounds like ba 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 ba, it has a very good balance. But if the guitar sounds like ba 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 ba, the balance is not so good because some of these tones are suddenly louder or they have more overtones than the other tones. The next two things are more the character of a sound, dark and bright. A dark or a round sound have more lower frequencies than higher frequencies and a bright or a sharp sound has more higher frequencies and less lower frequencies. For example, a dark tone would sound like this and a bright sound would sound like bo. 
you have more clarity in the tone. And the last definition is the tone separation. It's not that much easy to explain that. I try to make it clear by giving you an example of a pop song. If the tone separation is good, you can hear every instrument very clear. In popular music it's called mix and not tone separation. And that's why it's not so easy to talk about the tone separation on guitar. You have to imagine that you play a chord and you can hear every single tone of this chord. In this case the guitar has a very good tone separation. Yeah, that's it. I hope it could help you to have a more clear idea of the different definitions of a sound. Today we start with this beautiful guitar made by the young Italian luthier Adrian Devoto. We have a spruce top and I also like the rosette of this guitar a lot. The sides and the back of this guitar are Indian rosewood. Very light and um, it's a very fine guitar, also the polishing looks very clean. Yeah, let's see how it sounds. It has a very airy sound. I like also the basses of the guitar. Let's see how it sounds in, in other positions. I think you have also a lot of colors on this guitar. I think the most obvious thing in this guitar is the organic and the balanced sound of that. Yeah, there is something special in this guitar, but I cannot describe what that is. You can help me. Yeah, what do you think about this guitar? The next guitar is made by the Belgium guitar luthier Karel Dadin. It's from 2022 and we have a spruce top and very beautiful cut back and sides. Oh, look at this. It looks gorgeous. The scale of this guitar is 640 millimeters and uh, we have a traditional 7 fan bracing. It's very light and let's see how it sounds.
very good sustain and also very airy sound like the other guitar. Wow, it has a very deep resonance. Wow. Yeah, very good and beautiful guitar. The next guitar is made by a German luthier. His name is Matthias Hartig. And this guitar is from 2022. We have a spruce top and mahogany back and sides. We have also very small and nice details on this guitar. And uh, yeah, let's see how it sounds. Yeah, you have very sweet sound. It's a very typical spruce sound. I like it. And also the variation of the colors are is amazing. And I would say you have also very good sustain and a clear sound. Wow, very good.
This guitar is also made by the German luthier Matthias Hartig. It's from 2022, but it's somehow completely different. I mean, the woods are the same. We have a spruce top and mahogany back and sides, but we have completely different details on this guitar. And I don't know if you can see that, but the whole corner of the top of the guitar is somehow a little bit depressed. I don't know if you can see it. I think you should. Very good sustain, really good sustain. Okay, the guitar is a little bit out of the tune. I think this guitar has a very unique sound. It sounds very bright and sharp. Yeah, what do you think? Especially if you compare these two guitars to each other, because I think they are completely different. The next guitar comes from a very well-known German company. It's Armin Hanika. This model is called PC Fusion. We have a cutaway here to reach the tones in the higher positions. And we also have a very good piezo pickup system with two-band equalizer with a treble and the bass. We have a spruce top and Indian rosewood back and sides. Let's see how it sounds. I wouldn't say that this is a typical classical guitar, but I think it's a very versatile guitar. You can play a lot of music styles on it and the sound quality of this guitar is very, very good.
and it's also very easy to play. And finally, the last guitar of this week is made by the Polish guitar luthier Rafael Turkowiak. And he is famous for his full of detail guitars. I mean, if you look at this guitar, you have an arm set here, you have very beautiful cocobolo back and sides, and you have also here a small hole. Uh, to be honest, I don't know if it's for the sound of the guitar or if it's something decorative. I think it will have an influence uh, on the sound of the guitar. And this is a double top model from 2022. And the scale of this guitar is 640 millimeters. And as I said, you have some very interesting details on this guitar. Yeah, let's see how it sounds. Wow, it has a very special sound. Um, I think the sustain of the guitar is really long and the guitar has a very good and fast response. So yeah, let's play some other melodies on it. What do you think about the sound of this guitar? It sounds for me very special. It has some very good characters like uh, long sustain and very fast and good response. And uh, yeah, it looks very beautiful. 
So we come to the end of the weekly guitar meeting at Zika's Guitars for this week. Please leave a comment and tell me your opinion about these guitars and please like the video if you enjoy that, if the video was helpful for you. Enjoy your weekend and um, thanks for watching the video. See you next week.